Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what is contained database and how to create contained database. Just so that you know, contained databases concept is brand new to SQL Server 2012 and 2014. I'm using SQL Server 2014 and we'll go through the demo. First, we need to understand what contained databases are. So contained database is basically just like any other database. However, it has uh, different properties than other database. Uh, it is isolated from other database. When, when you create a contained database, it is not basically interrelated with any other database on that particular instance. And you will see when we'll go through the demo. And number two, uh, iso iso isolated from SQL Server instance. Uh, remember how we create a database and uh, we always use, use master and create the database um, command or we use SQL Server Management Studio to create a normal database and back behind the scene it always uses master and create the uh, contained database. Uh, you create the database like that but it is not dependent on the master. All the metadata for, of the contained database is not basically uh, saved in master database. So it's, it is isolated from SQL Server instance and again uh, the third part is no login needed. If your database is contained database, you don't have to have SQL Server login. Remember, normally when we connect to SQL Server, uh, we go ahead, we have to have a login in order to get into SQL Server instance and then we can go ahead and access the other databases based on our permissions. But for contained databases, you don't have to have a SQL Server login. You don't have to have a login to uh, connect to contained database and I'll show you in the demo that uh, how to create a contained database user and we will go through the entire demo that um, once we create the database and then we will move the database. It, contained database uh, is a great concept because uh, since it is independent of SQL Server instance, you can take this contained database anywhere on the uh, other instance of SQL Server and just go ahead and connect with that database. You don't have to create the logins. Basically, uh, in previous versions, when we migrated from one server to another server, we needed to create all the users that's in the database. They, those users needed to be associated with logins that we have on SQL Server instance. But in uh, in contained databases, it is not the case. Once the uh, the database uh, user is created, that user can connect uh, to that particular database no matter where you move this database. So that is the great thing about contained database. Now there's no, no such thing as fully contained database. I'll, I'll be uh, using partial uh, contained database. When we talk about fully contained database, it has everything it's its own uh, and uh, it normally sh databases share some of the properties from SQL Server instance such as principles and etc server principles but contained database does not share any of that anything that is um, a database scope and in contained database it is always in uh, can can be found in contained databases but um, uh, if there is anything that crosses the boundaries of uh, con of a database uh, that become uncontained uh, objects so anything that um, let's say that you have a code that is accessing the logins of a particular SQL server and you're using contained database that that code is going to be useless if you're going to uh, connect with the database but if it's a, a partial contained database then uh, that database still have some of the metadata uh, dependency on SQL server instance there is no such thing for, for now uh, fully contained database, but uh, there are objects, uh, there are um, uh, um, uh, database objects that is fully contained and those object boundaries are specific to that particular database. So all, all application can access the database independent of SQL Server uh, instance inf information. Uh, you can connect with contained database use, um, from your application config file. You don't have to give SQL Server instance name. Uh, or anything like that and there is a particular authentication method that how you do that uh, we will not get into that but uh, just uh, wanted to 
clear the concept behind contained databases before we we go ahead and do the demo and other thing the contained databases are great in SQL Server 2012 and 2014 because you can use those contained databases in availability group and once the once you create the sec, um, secondary replicas and all those uh, 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 and, and put it on instance secondary secondary replica different instance than primary replicas then you don't need to create the logins uh, of contained database but if you are using availability group of a regular database then you do need uh, to create the logins on secondary um, uh, replicas instance so that user can connect but not when it comes to contained database so that is a huge win as far as uh, the database properties in SQL Server 2012 and 2014 goes and couple things that we need to uh, really do before we can use contained database uh, first that you need to have SQL Server configured uh, to uh, create the contained database and I'll show you in a minute how and then your database needs to be configured to be contained when you create the database so let's go ahead and um, get into the demo here's my SQL server and here's the instance that I'm connected to uh, the first thing that uh, uh, will um, I just wanted to mention that we'll be using two ways to uh, to do that one is using uh, 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 SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and other will be using uh, T SQL script to do the same thing so let's go ahead and use SQL Server Management Studio and uh, graphic user interface right click on that go to the properties of your instance keep in mind you need to right click on the SQL Server instance that you're connected with and you wanted to create the contained database if you go to uh, advanced and see up here the first thing the containment enable contained database by default it's false so you have to enable that by default it's disabled so I'm going to go ahead and disable that uh, enable that true and click OK so now our SQL Server is configured to create a contained database so in order to create the contained database you need to right click on the database click on new database and I'm going to name it my contained DB and rest everything remains the same you can go go through the initial size and everything um, uh, you can watch my previous videos about the best practices of uh, initial size and everything we're not going to go through that in this particular video so um, uh, the owner you can define the owner right now or you can define it later uh, options right here as you can see you in order to make a database contain database you need to click on option and as you can see right here the collation is default it'll take the default collation whatever your SQL Server collation is is going to be uh, uh, th that collation uh, when we talk about SQL Server collision we're talking about the the model database collision so whatever that collision is is going to be that and recovery is full up here this is important contain type right now by default it's none in order to make any database contain database you need to click on here and select partial so this database becomes partial contained database so we don't need to do anything else basically we're gonna go ahead and click OK and it should create contained database for us if we refresh the databases up here it says the contained database so all the users that uh, later on in another demo will be creating a contained user and will be taking this database uh, to another instance and uh, um, and putting that database on another instance and see that how it works as far as uh, uh, not uh, being dependent on SQL Server login so this is how you create using SQL Server Management Studio contained database now what we're going to do I'm going to go ahead and delete this database contained database and I'm going to reset the value of SQL Server right here the containment false because we're going to use the T-SQL now to do the same thing in T-SQL, first we need to configure our SQL Server. Uh, I have the T-SQL right here, so we're going to go ahead and open that file. So 
so right here is configure as you can see contained uh, server config we're gonna go ahead right click all it's doing is using SP underscore config and contain database authentication setting to one right here and it's going to go ahead and reconfigure with override so that this can take place so we're gonna go ahead and execute this as you can see configuration option contain database set from zero to one so our server now is ready for us to create the contained database so we're gonna go ahead and close this and we're gonna get um, tsql script to create contained database create contained database this is the database I'm creating notice right here everything else is just like normal database but up here the containment up here that just we selected using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface we, we selected partial up there same with the script the containment type needs to be equal to partial in order to make this particular database a contained database so we're gonna go ahead and execute this oops sorry and command completed successfully let's go and see if our my contained database is right here so this is how you create a contained database and how to con uh, how you configure your SQL Server instance to let you create the contained database now this database is ready you can take this database to any other instance and all the users that right now uh, it doesn't have any users basically and we'll create a user uh, in another demo contained user it's called contained user anything that has to do with the contained database and it's a database level database boundaries apply on that that becomes the contained values of that particular database so if we create a user contained user we'll be using uh, uh, this right here we could create a user and we'll take that particular database on another instance and we'll try to connect to that this database without the login and that's how we're gonna do uh, the next demo so please stay tuned I hope this helps just quickly we went through how to create uh, the contained database and how to set up your SQL Server instance to, for for uh, uh, contained databases uh, creation I hope this helps.